I think the first time that like you get on that stage, I feel like I'm gonna be so excited and like just walking out there and uh, and just seeing all the people and they're cheering for you and all that kind of thing and just knowing that you're about to perform for them. It's just it's like a breathtaking feeling even thinking about it. So. I mean, it's flattering to be that cared about, but. Um... Yeah, there is a fine line. Like, there's just yes. that line. But there, sometimes some, there's a couple fans that cross the line of privacy and respect every once in a while. Maybe those that get your phone number and yeah, you know, do not leave you alone, and then you have to change your number three times. I don't know. It's so weird to think about though that like people care that much, like find out where you're at at all times, and they. I feel like they know where we're at before we know where we're at. Seriously, um, yeah. and it's kind of scary, actually. They gave you a feather, didn't they? They gave me a couple feathers. feathers. They wanted to um, glam up my look a little bit, which I, I really appreciate, thanks. And they also gave me a headphone splitter so that me and Adam can listen to music after these shows and cuddle. They're clearly misinterpreting our friendship. <laughs> a crush is a very non-threatening thing, I yeah. think. Yeah. I have a crush on Adam. Can I say that? I have a crush on you, Adam. I'll run with that. Now That's, everything... Yeah. Yeah. Screw, yeah. I'm screwed. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Crushes are in. Bromances. Bromances are in. Bromai.